Okay, everybody, let's do just a short fun one for a second. And this can be pretty useful if you want to have some kind of little pet or some kind of, in this case, a bit of an overlord uh, watching over you. But we're going to have a thing rotate towards the player as they move around. So in my scene here, uh, if you look way up, we've got face. <laughs> it's just a white ball with two little white balls on it that look like eyes. And when I step on this trigger here, it's going to make that face story. It's a bit creepy, to be honest. When I first did it, I actually had a big laugh because I thought it was hilarious. So I'm going to step on this trigger. <laughs> look at that. It, uh, it starts to... Uh, rotate towards you and it's sort of like the overlord before you can go get your bacon. And there I've uh, hit the trigger again and turned it off actually. So let's turn it back on. And then we can go over here and hop in our elevator, which is kind of neat. And then we can see that our overlord is still watching us. And we got our bacon. It's funny, right? Yeah, there you go. Let's make this. OK, we're inside a UEFN and this is simple to set up. Uh, first thing we need is our ball of lordship, I guess we'll call it. It's simply just you can you can make this inside a UEFN, but I made this inside a, inside a blender and it's just uh, a ball with two, uh, two little eyeballs on it so that I could see where it's looking. And the important thing is to make sure to set it up so that the X is facing towards the front of it. So that will be the front of the object. OK, and once you've done that, we need a trigger, something, anything. This in this case is just a trigger, a step on trigger. And uh, when we step on it, it activates the code that makes this thing follow me. All right. So once we've got those two things set up on here, so let's cover really quickly the setup of the following head thing. And so inside of my objects, I've brought in an FBX model. And again, you can make this inside of UFN with the modeling tools that it has. But this is my model here. And then I made a blueprint and we covered making blueprints in the elevator tutorial. So I'll leave that linked below. This is this is the blueprint here. And inside of the blueprint is our mesh. And that's all you have to do. There's nothing special. We need it to be a blueprint because we need to be able to control it. So that is the scene setup done, uh, the object setup done, and the trigger setup done inside of the game. Now we need to go into our verse code. OK, so to do that, we're going to go into our content creative devices. And here is my game manager verse code. Double click and that should open up the code. So inside of here, I have my elevator stuff going on, but I also now have my follow trigger which is uh, the trigger that we step on to make something happen for the following head thing. And then I've got a creative prop set up as follow head and also is follow of a of a Boolean or logic value is set. So let's go take a look at how this works exactly. Uh, so the on follow trigger event is very simple. Same as the elevator trigger. You're going to take a possible agent. And in this case, it is going to be an agent that's going to trigger this and the head's going to follow this player. So we first check out to make sure that it is an agent. So we say a possible agent, you can call it anything you want. It's a type agent and we're going to just double check that we actually have an agent object. Sometimes it isn't. And then we're going to check to see if it's following already. If it isn't following, we're going to set that to true and then we're going to make the head follow through a move to sequence of events and passing in the agent because we want it to follow that particular player. Uh, if not, then we set is following to false and that will break the loop that we're about to go look at. So inside of the make head follow function, we're going to do a few important things that make this thing turn towards us. So we're going to make a loop. We previously said this to be spawn because when we use move to, it's going to make the thread sleep a little. It's going to make it stop and do a thing. So we have to do spawn and uh, that's a suspends function. So we put in suspends and now we do our loop. OK, so inside of our loop, we're going to check to see if if following is true or not. If it's not true, then just break out of this loop. Stop following. Now we could do something else in here. We could have it uh, reset back to its normal state kind of idea if we really wanted to. But for now, we're just breaking, which gets out of the loop and stops it from running. But if we're set to have it following true, first thing we want to do is want to grab the character that we want it to follow and do that just with agent get for character with uh, square brackets. Simple. Uh, we want to get the head location. Uh, so we grab the translation of that with the get transform. We've already done this in the elevator one. The player location is done the exact same way we already have the player character which is here. And uh, then we just need to figure out the vector that it needs to move. The look direction is a uh, value that is a value that is created with the make unit vector. So we want to 
take the player location, which includes the rotation, minus the head location and turn that into a vector. And then we figure out the yaw, pitch and roll. Now we don't want it to roll, otherwise it'll kind of do this and we don't really want it to do that. So we're going to set that to zero. That's the easiest one. But we do want the yaw and pitch. So yaw is sideways and pitch is up and down. So we want those to get set up. So radians two degrees is another method that lives inside of spatial math. So you might have to include that library. We you, we get the arctan of, and this is just some algebra, just maybe memorize this. Don't worry about it too much. The look direction Y and the look direction X. And we want to convert that to uh, degrees from radians and the pitch. Also, again, uh, radians two degrees. We're going to do the arctan of the look direction Z, the square of the X the look the look x and the look y so if this is confusing literally just copy this don't even worry about it i'm not very much into algebra myself so i don't really pay attention to that stuff but i do understand some of the things that we have to do to make things happen this is one of those things then the last thing we want to do is set a value for the new rotation of the object we don't want to move it so we're just going to uh set up a rotation value make rotation from yaw pitch roll degrees because remember we converted this to degrees and we're just going to put in the yaw pitch and roll that's it and then we want to do move to and move to is a way to move a prop. Just want the, the location to stay the same. So we that's why we grabbed it from here. It's just the same location. We're going to create uh, our and then we're going to bring in the new rotation value that we created here. And then we're going to make it move over a period of 0.2 of a tick kind of thing. So it's quite quick. And uh, and that will allow the head to fall. And that's it. That's all you have to do. You're done. And once you've once you put this code in, it should just follow. If you wanted to make it follow, follow like proper follow, then you could change the location of it. We'll cover that in another story. That's it. A nice, easy one. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next one.